Another super interesting inner circle mentorship meet. In this today's session, we are going to touch upon below points. First is uh, how to spot inflection points in a business, which leads to multi bagger gains in a stock. That is what we are going to learn today. Second, we are going to discuss about detailed case study of Bajaj consumer as a potential multi bagger. Then we'll be discussing about the strategy to how we can benefit the most of a potential multi bagger by riding its entire journey. Because uh, there is a slight difference between a successful investor and a super successful investor. Super successful investor rides the entire journey. Like even if you look at Rakit Jinjunwala, he bought Titan, he held it for a uh, long time and for the entire journey of its growth period that is when he was able to make a 100x in that stock more than 100x so finding a multi bagger potential multi bagger is just a half job done the speciality lies in if you are able to ride the entire rally of that uh, multi bagger so we are going to learn that today uh, how to ride the entire journey of a mega multi bagger with conviction and confidence. So today's company, which we are going to discuss is a 93 year old FMCG brand. And uh, it is a very old brand with which is coming with five new product launches and uh, the price where it is placed in the valuations where it is placed in it is available at a deep valuation having high growth prospects so it will be like growth at deep value and we are going to talk about this company a hair oil company which owns around 52 percent market share and in the same segment they are going to launch around five new products which can help them create margin expansion sales growth uh, and valuation expansion going forward. So let us deep dive and move ahead. So very important note. So whatever shared in this uh, presentation should be purely taken for educational purpose and uh, it should not be considered as a recommendation in any course. So the company which we are going to talk today is Bajaj Consumer. Bajaj Consumer specializes in hair care products, hair care customer consumer goods, company is 93 year old as i said it is it the history dates back to 1930 founded by jamnalal bajaj bajaj consumer is the third largest player in indian hair oils uh, production as i said bajaj almond hair oil it, its flagship product it owns around 52% market share in the light hair oil category which is which is a premium oil and uh, I've been using this oil for the past three, three and a half years now. And that is the reason why I was tracking Bajaj consumer from long time. A lot of people uh, say that patience, are, patience is very important in investing. But I believe patience before investing is much more important. Because I've been tracking Bajaj consumer from long time. But if you buy any company pre at a premature period, your patience will not be sustaining that much because I have seen a lot of people picking this uh, high quality cash rich company for, and waited for three years, four years, five years and nothing happened. So catching a company at an inflection point from a business point of view, from a stock point of view is very much important and patience before is much more important. And I believe the current juncture where we are in today we have reached that at that time where company and the stock 
both are at an inflection point and uh, it will not test much patience for the investors uh, whenever the business is at inflection point now let us understand the numbers the latest Bajaj Consumer Care Limited, the market cap of this company is 3,269 crores. Current market cap is 226 rupees. 52 week high. Currently, it is trading at a 52 week high uh, level. And uh, 52 week low was around 146. It is at a P of 23.6. Book value is 54.6. ROE ROC is well above 15%, which is, which is required. Because if your ROE ROC is below 15%, you are earning less than cost of capital and uh, you cannot create big wealth. So debt to equity is at 0 0.01. It is a clean debt free company. Market cap to sales is at 3.4 times. If you compare this with any other FMCG companies, you will find that Bajaj consumer is trading at the lowest valuation in the whole FMCG category, because even if you look at from the market cap to sales, even if you look at from the price to book value, you'll be able to understand that. Uh, return on equity is 17.3%. Operating profit margins are 14.7%. Promoter holding is 39.4%. Cash and cash equivalents is 19 crore. This is cash and cash equivalent, but there is a treasury which company has and it owns a treasury of around 600 crores. So cash and cash equivalents put together is around 600 crores, not 19.1 because this is just cash and cash equivalent. Around 600 crores is invested in government bonds, which doesn't count in uh, cash and cash equivalent. So this is the company with uh, 3,269 crores uh, market cap, having the cash and cash equivalent. I will, I will count the government security into cash and cash equivalent itself. So it has a cash balance of around 600 crores and above. So this is the chart. If you look at uh, Bajaj consumer, Bajaj consumer is trading at the same price where it was trading 10 years before. So it is one of the hated stocks in stock market. And that is why I got interested in that stock. Because my style of investing, uh, I, 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 I like the companies which are one of the rated stocks in stock market, that is where the opportunity lies. So 10 years of zero returns for Bajaj consumer shareholders. If you look at quarterly figures, company is doing 250 crores of uh, uh, turnover. The margins have came down from 29% to 17% and currently trading at a low, lower end of margin profile. If you look at it from uh, p uh, profit and loss perspective on annual basis, the margins have dropped from 31% to 15%. So this is like a good business with a temporary problem because uh, margin bottoming has happened and we'll be talking about that at a later stage. Borrowings, it is a net debt free company because if you look at just borrowing is just 9 crores and uh, Cash put together, treasury put together, it holds around 600 crores and above. So it is a net debt free company. Promoter holding is 39.35. It brought a buyback sometime back. And because of that buyback, put together, uh, they have bought shares worth 80 crores. And because of that, and promoters did not participate in the buyback. And because of that, the promoter holding has gone up from 38% to 39.35%. The Key notable shareholders here is Nippon India Mutual Fund owns around 6.59% stake. HDFC Multicap owns around 6.46% stake. So this was all about the numbers, the latest. Now let us move ahead with uh, the interesting information. So interesting information, as I said, it is one of the hated stocks in stock market. It has given zero returns for its shareholder over the past 10 years. And that is why I got interested in that stock. As I said, Nippon India Mutual Fund and HDFC Mutual Fund put together owns around 5.5% stake each. Company has spent around 1000 crore over marketing over the past uh, six to seven years. And the whole company is available at a market cap of 3200 crores. With a cash on cash equivalent of 600 crores and above. So you can see that uh, 1000 crore of marketing spend and cash on cash equivalent of 600 
this itself gives you a sense of deep value in this company company did a buyback of 100 crore as a result of it promoter stake has increased from 38.03% to 39.35% as promoters didn't participate in the buyback so why i got interested in this company see to find any stock to become a mega multi bagger or to put in serious money one thing is very much important which are the observations here if you are able to find the companies with these uh, uh, attributes you can put your hard earned money in such company so few criteria which i follow is i like a company which has 20 years of history and this is a company with 93 year old history it is a very old company i like to find multi baggers in easy to understand business because in complex businesses it is very hard for you to keep that conviction and bajaj consumer is very easy to understand business i like the companies where there is no replacement for the products in near decade this is very much important see i like the businesses with low rate of change the reason for that is if you want to put my if i want to put my hard earned money uh, i cannot put that into a company which is having high rate of change which is a technological player because even if we see a case like let us say facebook i am not sure, sure that whether facebook will remain here in the business for the next 5 10 20 years but i know that the business of bajaj consumer the hair oil it is going to remain there for long long time so this is very much important when you when you are investing for long term investing in something where the there is no replacement of the products in near decade old economy old school businesses as i said once again high rate of change is a enemy of an investor if there is high rate of change you need to constantly think about the business how the business can evolve and all those things and that can become a enemy of an investor and that is why i like to invest in old economy and old businesses it has it is a business with low rate of change and why i got interested today because i have been tracking this from long time but i got interested in this because this is a company and i heard uh, about this company from few, one of the community member who, who who was actively invested in it and he said that uh, i was holding it for a long time but uh, uh, this is a company with uh, no product innovation and since then i also started uh, tracking it and i kept on tracking it until the big change happened and what has happened in few years past 2 to 3 years because past 2 to 3 years they have been continuously investing in developing new products and as the company is is having a cash reserve of more than 600 crore they can they they can easily develop much more products but it took them 2 to 3 years from 2018 itself they they uh, carried out a path for new product launches and those product launches is happening since last year past 6 7 months and uh, just yesterday one more product has got launched under almond drops category which is body lotion so this is the reason why i got interested in it because when i was uh, shopping for my home and that point of time i saw a navratna type oil from bajaj consumer so almonds but navratna type oil the cool oil and that is why i got interested in that and then i started researching with it again uh, even after tracking for a long time i got to understand that now business is at inflection point and lot of people ask me how how do you find a inflection point in a business see it is not that easy to find a inflection point in a business because to find a inflection point in a business you need to track it for long long time and if you have observed from long time whatever i have shared on youtube whatever i have shared on public forums one thing you will observe that even before i buy a company i have been talking about it from long 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 time and then i get to understand because triggers helps you prioritize between the bets as i said our approach uh, to investing is technicals fundamentals value and triggers because fundamentals tells you what to buy what not to buy value will tell you how much to buy how much not to buy technicals will tell you when to buy when not to buy and uh, when to increase or when to reduce 
and triggers will help you prioritize between the beds. So, if this is the approach, technicals, fundamentals, value, and trigger, because fundamental investing is just 25% job done. If you are a value investor, that is just 25% job done. If you are a technical trader, that is just 25% job done. And if you are a investor based on the news trends and all, that is just 25%. To become a holistic investor, you need to blend that. And that is what I teach in this community. Blending of fundamentals, technicals, value and trigger. And all those things, when it gets matched, it becomes a potential stock for long term as per strategic alpha framework, which we follow, uh, the process which we follow. So technicals, fundamentals, value and trigger. And in Bajaj consumer, fundamentally, it was a debt-free catch rich company. Valuation-wise, it was trading at very low valuation from long time. But there were no visible triggers. So now when the vis triggers were visible and even when it gave signals or technicals, that is when I got interested in this first. I posted about Bajaj consumer for the first time in May 2023 and this is the post. I'll be sharing that at a later stage. So positives. Let us discuss about the positives. This is a company which is debt free and cash rich. If you can see the cash and cash equivalents, so this is investments at current investments. Investments at fair value through profit and loss statement. Invest in investment in government securities that is 4,500 lakh. And investment is in bonds that is 53,000 lakh. All put together. All put together, it is around 575 crores. What are the negatives, risk, and monetarables? Company had lagged product innovation earlier from 2010 to 2020, 2018 or so. So need to keep a check on it, how well they are able to innovate and how does market likes this innovation or not, because they are bringing the products in the same category, uh, which is almond drops. So they are extending that category. And we need to check whether market, how uh, does the market like or not on a quarterly basis, at least for the next two quarters, we need to check that how market is reacting to the new product launches. And we need to check on the con calls, whether uh, they are going in the right directions or not. So this becomes a key monitorable. Second is FMCG is a crowded place and there is a difficult pathway because there are a lot of uh, new players which have come up like Mama Earth and all which they have, the company like Mama Earth, which is Honavasa Consumer Private Limited, has burnt a lot of uh, money to get into the market. There are a lot of products which are coming. So it is very difficult uh, and this is very a crowded place. So in such areas, cash burning may be required. So in the absence of street street, success street, success uh, from the uh, street, uh, so in the absence of success, street will take it negatively eroding the value of the company. So, uh, but I don't think that, that that is a major concern because they have enough uh, watches with them. A company with uh, like as a consumer that is Mamar had to burn the cash from P investors funds. But this company, if required, it has a watches of 600 crores which makes it uh, a very important thing for this company. So company has all those ingredients to become a next big brand. They are already a big uh, known brand, but only in one segment. Can they be successful into multiple segments? I believe they are well placed to do that with 600 crores of cash on their balance sheet. Now let us understand the insights from the Concolor uh, transcripts, margin guidance. So somebody, Percy, Percy asked this question from the margin front. Margins have bottom have gone up from uh, gone from around 14 to 14 to 15 percent to around 17 percent. Just wanted to understand: Are we confident of retaining high team margins on this, or this is just a short term blip? So, Mr. Jaydeep Nandi. The management, this is what they said. We'll be targeting 18 to 20 percent margin in near to midterm kind of a number. We are committed because below 18 percent is something anywhere we are not looking at it. 
so but 18% is a bare minimum margin which ma management has guided and we want to reach around 20% kind of a number by by mid term so this is what we remain committed this is what management says so management is committing about 18 to 20% margins uh, going forward which is around for 17% uh, right now so uh, this and uh, recently in the uh, few quarters below the margin were just 14%. So from 14%, the management is projecting a margin of 18 to 20%. So insights from con call transcript, this is ADHO, uh, dependence on ADHO to be reduced. ADHO is almond drops air oil. So if you look at number overall contribution of ADHO back earlier, which was around 93%, it has came down to 86%. So their flagship product, which is Bajaj Almond Hair Oil, was uh, contributing to 93% of in the revenues. That has came down to 86% now. And they are uh, pushing for the growth of ADHO. But ADHO will come down to 60% or so more long term. Uh, more in long term and in near term maybe near 80%. So this is what they have said. They want to reduce the dependency on ADHO, uh, Bajaj Almond Drops Hair Oil by launching new products. Insight from Concall transcript growth strategy. This is what they have envisaged uh, two years back and uh, they are seeing that most of the things are happening. If you see the recent quarter results, uh, March quarter results, even December 2022 quarter results, you will be able to see that the numbers have started improving for our Bajaj consumer. And this is what uh, Mr. Jaydeep is saying. As far as product portfolio is concerned, we are clearly wanted to be on one side, uh, complete as far as hair oil product portfolio is concerned. On the other side, get our credibility slowly started getting established in personal care space, both in hair and skin care more in the premium range. This is what can bring a margin expansion for this company. And I have always talked about a secret sauce of a multi-bagger. For any stock to become a multi-bagger, these are the five secret sauces which it needs to have. First is high sales growth, which is at least the company should be able to double its sales in three to five years. That is when a stock can become a multi-bagger. If it is three years, that is 25% CAGR. If it is five years, that is 15% CAGR. So if a company can double its sales in three to five years, it can have that first secret sauce of a mega multi-bagger. Second secret sauce of a mega multi-bagger is margin expansion. Because if the sales just go up 2x and profit remains same, the stock will also go up 2x. But if sales go up 2x and profit margin goes 2x, the stock can become 4x because net profit will go up 4x. So margin expansion is what I look at. So I'm seeing a margin expansion here in Bajaj consumer uh, because of new product launches and margin can expand well about 22% in the future. Management has guided about 18 to 20% in uh, immediate basis. But as and when the premium product category comes, the margins can go and touch 22% mar uh, mark also. So six, second secret so sauce of, uh, is there. Third secret sauce is deleveraging of balance sheet. That is what is not required. Fourth is uh, valuation expansion. And I'll be talking about the valuations at a later stage there where you will be able to see that Bajaj consumer is the uh, cheapest counter in the entire FMCG space. And if there is margin expansion, can the street give a big thumbs up to this company and valuation can expand? Because if the profit goes up 4x and if the stock P goes up from 25 to 50, the stock can go up 8x. So valuation expansion is, so all these secret sauce of multi-bagger put together creates a multi-bagger for any company. And it, I believe Bajaj consumer has all that uh, aspect from a multi-bagger point of view. So in, inside from Concord transcript, scope and customer traction, we feel that by Almond Drop extension clearly, there is a scope for us. The three products that we have launched are, are showing uh, good signs. 
taking traction into new categories which we were not there and now this year you will see another set of launches that will happen which will keep expanding our almond drops umbrella which is again something which we have stated and i believe that each almond drop category which they are bringing can provide a sales of 40 to 50 crore for each of the category which they bring a sub category under the almond drops because almond drops has a strong recall brand recall and under the same umbrella it can launch multiple products and which can bring 40 to 50 crores of each of the product this is what i believe in type from concord transcript cash on balance sheet of 700 crores so i'm saying that uh, uh, some someone called as anup ramchandra asked I'm saying that we spent around 100 crores. We could have put that money for better use, either as dividend as or advertisement spend or whatever. Advertisement, what you have, where you, what you said, we have already matched that. I hold a treasury of around more than 100 crores, 700 crores, as you are aware. So anyway, it is not something that is the there is a debt in the market or we are leveraged or there is a specific immediate large capex requirement or organic growth that we need in this cash to be burned down. So really speaking, this was an attempt to look at how this thing, because we have to see that we were also doing a buyback for the first time. So this was a learning cycle for us. So they, they, they had around 700 crores of uh, uh, cash. And out of that, they have done a buyback of around 80 crores. Taxes put together, they have cost, that has costed them 100 crores. And because of that, cash and cash, it means uh, the treasury has came down to around 600 crores. So this is what uh, clearly says that they have around 600 crores of cash on cash balance sheet. Uh, cash on balance sheet. Exciting development, new product launch. This is just two days before. If you go on the notifications in BSC website, you will be able to see this. Intimation of a launch of new product, Bajaj Almond Drops Nourishing Body. So, uh, nourishing body lotion. So, this is a new product which they have brought in the same category. This is what I, I was saying. The same category, uh, Bajaj Almond Drops has a strong brand pool. And I, under the same category, under the same uh, umbrella, they are bringing multiple products. So, this body lotion can bring them a sales of around anywhere between 40 to 50 crore for this single product. This is what I believe. This is what I shared on public forums over the past few weeks. This is what I shared about Bajaj consumer on the public forum. And this is the tweet which I did on uh, 23rd May 2023. So this is what I said. For the first time saw Navratna type oil from Bajaj consumer. It has been a lagard with almost no product innovation until now. However, looks are Looks like the things are changing for good for Bajaj consumer. Stock is trading at near multi-year highs. The stock to be kept on radar. It is highly likely that it will outperform the whole FMCG basket for the next one to two years, just like ITC did in 2022 to 2023. Sales consumer and margin expansion is the key trigger here for Bajaj consumer. It was trading at a price of 186 rupees. Currently, it is trading at a price of 223 rupees. New product sales have doubled in FY 2023 to around 113 crore and now contributes 12% to overall sales. And because of that itself, the dependence on ADHO has came down. So almond drop soap is a larger part, is a part of larger skincare category and more products will be launched in almond drops range. More products in premium hair care and skincare range. Several new products have potential to cross 50 crores marks in over the next two to three years. Company aims to for sustainable digit, double digit growth for the next five years. Company plans to increase the prices and pass on to the consumers to normalize gross margin. So this I said on 23rd March 2023. After that, I shared it two days back. This is a big news. Bajaj Consumer Care, big news. New product launch, Bajaj Almond Drops. I posted that post on August 4th. So from May to August, I bought it first at 180 odd levels and I kept on increasing as on the, as and uh, when I got the confidence. 
and we are taking this session today because i reached my 100% confidence levels 100% conviction levels which i wanted whenever i talk in a public forum so uh, but with 100% confidence now that deep value zone ultra deep value zone which was available few days back few months back it is not available but still it is a deep value bet it was a ultra deep value bet in between 100 150 to 180 zone so bajaj consumer one more thing see uh, i take such a session with you all when i get super confident about anything so this is what i posted i was uh, uh, the session is available on ratio chart you can go through that bajaj consumer versus bse 250 ratio chart highly likely it will be a winning stock from small caps so i got a confidence that it is going to be a winning stock from small cap and that was visible on ratio chart and if you are not going through my ratio chart session the session is available on the school just go through that you will be able to understand what i am saying because this trend has changed the out performance has changed the ratio trend has changed after a long long time which is suggesting that this is going to outperform the small cap index what it means is during the rise it will rise faster than the small cap stocks small cap index during the falls it will fall lesser than the small cap index this is what we want as a investor you should your objective should be that you should be making more money than the market when the market goes up and you should be losing less money when the market comes down so that is what your expectation should be and that is what uh, when you get that stock where it can perform well according to that objective you have a winning stock in your hand which can uh, help you create alpha bajaj consumer technical setup this is what i posted once again on telegram channel risk reward is highly favorable so this is where this is when i bought it first at 180 rupees i kept on adding it so it was like 4% uh, means it was like small position for me then kept on adding it here here and here ultimately here so the this pattern is equal to the pattern which it created in 2012 when it created such kind of a pattern in 2012 the stock went up 3x in 2 years and uh, once again it is placed at a nice juncture with a risk reward of 1 is to 5 to 1 is to 7 from a long term perspective so this is what uh, i am seeing in bajaj consumer my take bajaj consumer is one of the latest stocks in stock market which qualifies my criteria of a long term stock i got interested in this business looking at few attributes like visit easy to understand business no replacement for their products can uh, uh, seen in the near decade 93 year old company debt free cash rich which around with around 600 crores of cash and cash equivalents and liquids company hasn't seen any product development innovation for nearly a decade until 19 however company has been investing in r and d marketing dealer development over the past few years the results of this will be seen over the next 3 to 5 years with sales growth and margin expansion from new products management guiding about double digit growth and margins of 18 to 20% company and stock is trading at decadal low zones because currently the price at which it is trading the same price was 10 years before in 2013 so it is placed at an inflection point and right to become a multi bagger for the future this is what i believe about uh, bajaj consumer so this was all about today's session if you are like this session don't forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel don't forget to uh, check our social media handles we are available on facebook youtube instagram and twitter this is my twitter handle all those links will be provided in the description below most important is thing is the blog uh, most of the insightful things i post it on blog which is strategicalpa.in/blog you can check that one more announcement is uh, regarding techno value investing workshop techno value investing workshop i teach the blending of technicals fundamentals value and trigger to become a holistic investor i'll be taking that session uh, uh, next to next week on sunday at 11 am you can register for that uh, if you are not a community member if you are a community member you don't need to go through this again because the recording of this this 
is available on the school. So, sir, thank you for attending this session. This was all about today's session on Bajaj consumer and how to find a stock which is at an inflection point. So, we have discussed.